Buenos días, gordo. Good morning. Today we're doing a little bit of ocean kayak fishing, focusing on halibut, lean cod. We'll see. Kind of play it by ear as the day goes on. You can see I have a sabiki tied at the end of my line here. This is what that looks like, just a bunch of little flies. Each hook has a bead and a skirt at the end. And when I raise it through the water like this, it stimulates bait fish to come take a bite out of it. And then I'll toss them in that blue thing you see back there and use them as bait for a bigger fish. So that's the plan. I didn't bring any of my own bait today. So we gotta find some bait first. Right away, I'm just scanning the surface. Oftentimes you can see the bait. I'm looking at the birds. I'm looking to see if they're congregated anywhere, if they're diving. If they're diving, they're definitely diving at something and that something is gonna be bait. Just saw a seagull dive right there and come out with a fish. There we go. Not what I thought it was. This is a little rockfish. You cannot use them if you catch them on a bunch of hooks. I think the maximum is two hooks that you can catch a rockfish on and use it as bait. So it's going back down. No. All right, well, <laughs> the absolute lack of bait today truly astounding you think you think after a mile of trolling a sabiki you'd run into something but that is not always the case so i'm going to try something just for a little bit i'm going to throw my swim bait for around 15 minutes to see if i can catch a rockfish and then if i catch one we'll use that as bait and we'll just use a single rod today and target lean cod this is my swim bait of choice today it's a five inch swim bait one and a half ounce jig head and just casting it out in front of me, letting it sink. Once it's on the bottom, just reeling it up a couple times and I'm letting it fall back down. There we go. Second cast, got something. Oh, I got bait, <laughs> perfect. Now look at the size of the fish I got and look at the size of the swim bait. And I've also caught 35 inch halibut on this exact swim bait. So this really gets anything out here. So I've hooked him once through the nose and I'm sliding this hook down. I'm gonna hook him in the underside of the butt here. I'm gonna drop him down here, 45 feet deep, reel it up a couple times so I don't get snagged. Oof, got a sea lion coming up behind me. Hopefully he doesn't want croaker for breakfast. Had a recent run-in with one of those. But that's it, let's cast this swim bait out again. Let's see if we can pick up another fish. GoPro, start recording. What was that? Looked like something bit this guy, but it's not, didn't hold on. There's something. Ah, fish on. On the croaker, not big, but head shakes right there. Let's see it. Ooh, a let go. There we go. Halibut. It's a little halibut, but Halibut on the swim bait right there. Little shaker halibut right here. Definitely a male halibut. I don't think I have to explain what that is after that, but. Oops. 
There we go. Feels like another halibut. Ooh, and it's better. Very next cast. Oh, lean cod. It's a nice lean cod. Good looking lean cod right here. Look at that mouth, those teeth. Wow. Beautiful fish. And uh, undersized, and also you can only use one rod for these guys, so. There we go. GoPro, start recording. Oh yeah, there's a fish on here. Yeah, I'm on. On the croaker. This is about two minutes after the halibut and lean cod on the swim bait. Doesn't feel very big. I have a feeling it's a lean cod. Yeah. Check it. So I'm not even sure he's hooked. He's just biting onto it and lean cod do that a lot. And if I wanted to land this guy, how I would do it is by not taking his head out of the water. Because he'll, he'll let go. See, he's going to let go. He let go already. The second you take that head out of the water, they're going to let go. Oh! Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am on. Yes. Ooh, good fish. I've been trolling for a long time. This live bait, just not catching anything. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice lean cod. Please tell me, oh, and he's hooked. He's not even a hitchhiker, nice. Nice, got him. Oh, he's so barely hooked, it's not even funny. Oh, he got off, goodbye. Sending the live bait back down. See if we can get one more. Oh, oh my god, am I on already? Yeah, I'm on. Oh! Back to back, instant, instant, instant bite. Wow, I asked and my live bait answered. No, did it come off? <gasps> oh, he's right there, I see him. Oh, I swam off. They're not getting hooked. That was another lean cod. Just instant. Let's see if I can get another one right away. I think that, that may be the problem with using croaker for live bait here. They don't seem to actually be getting hooked. They're just grabbing the croaker, but not hooking themselves. So when I pull them up, they're just hanging on by the teeth. Oh my God. I think I just got bit again. Yeah, I'm on again, instant. Lean caught again. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna let him eat it a little more. Then just... All right, I'm on again. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Three lean cod in one minute. Let's see. Wow, yep, got him. No, he let go again. Oh, I'm on. No. Oh, there is my lingcod bait. Yeah, swim bait. I don't know what this is. Rockfish. Oh, Cabazon. All right. I was gonna say it wasn't fighting like a lean cod or like a halibut, but it had the weight of one. So that checks out.
Tab is on. There he goes. Nice. Look at this jelly. Yeah, GoPro, start recording. No. There was a good fish on the swim bait right there. Oh, on the swim bait again, very next cast. Oh, it's another rockfish. Strong though, big one. Beautiful rockfish, check him out. Slam that swim bait. See you later. GoPro. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Fish on. GoPro, start recording. Oh my. Something took my smelt. Big time. What is this? Oh no. That basically answers my question, I think. Are you kidding me? This is my second sea lion in two weeks here. Ugh. I wanna break it off so that, what the? And my swim bait is snagged. I don't want to leave this guy with a ton of line, so I, I want to break it off. Ah, fan freaking tastic! Oh my god. I'm gonna lock this drag. Because this guy has 300 feet of line out. I don't want to leave all this line in him. Okay, did it pop off? I think it did. Okay, good. The thing is, um, if he spooled me, or if I cut the line at the reel, he would be dragging 300 feet of line behind him and it could wrap around something and it'd be just bad. So I want the line to break at the hook, which is what happened. See, perfect. Perfect. <laughs>